This is no ordinary hot cocoa. This is an upgraded boozy hot cocoa. Let me show you how to make it. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt. I'm the whiskey nerd and like I said this week I'm making an upgraded boozy hot cocoa and it's actually really really easy to take that kind of classic boozy hot cocoa and upgrade it a little bit by using good ingredients. Now if you want you can just stick to a very simple make a hot cocoa, add some booze and you've got a boozy hot chocolate but this is a little bit of an upgrade because we're using some good ingredients to really elevate our hot cocoa. So for starters, we're going to start off with a very, very tasty hot chocolate. This is from Gra Chocolates. Uh, Gra means love in Ireland and it's made by a woman called Grania, so hence the kind of name Gra Chocolates. This one is a special edition they've done this winter. It uses a little bit of Bushmills Black Bush whiskey in the hot chocolate to kind of add a little bit of extra flavour and a bit of extra kind of well, just oomph and flavor to the cocktail and really does come through in a good way. So when we're spiking up our hot chocolate, we're gonna use some Bushmills Black Bush because that will really well pair with the flavors in that hot cocoa. But we're not just gonna stop there. We're gonna add a little bit of triple sec. That's an orange liqueur. We're not gonna overpower the hot cocoa with the orange liqueur. We're just gonna add a little bit of a flavor there, a little bit of extra kind of depth to the hot chocolate just add a little bit of extra, well, kind of fanciness and a bit of an upgrade to it. And then lastly, we are gonna to be topping it off with a little bit of cream and some marshmallows to kind of complete the experience. But that's enough talking, it's time to make the cocktail. This is a very simple one, and we're just gonna build it in the glass, top with hot cocoa, top it with the cream, and then it's ready to serve. So we're gonna start off with our whiskey. Now, we're not, we're not gonna go in with too much whiskey. We don't wanna overpower the flavor. You want this to be something that you can kind of batch up, you can kind of enjoy over a long period of time with a couple of different glasses of it. So you don't wanna overpower the flavor of your hot chocolate. So we're just gonna go in with one ounce or 30 ml of our whiskey into there. This only comes in at 40% ABV. So it's not gonna be overpowering. It's not gonna be really kind of dominating the cocktail. It's just gonna add a nice bit of a flavor to it. Next up, we're gonna go in with our triple sec. This is just gonna be about 15 mils, so half an ounce of triple sec. Again, we don't wanna dominate the flavor of the hot chocolate with this orange. We just wanna add a little bit of an extra kind of pizzazz, a bit of extra upgrade to it, just like that. And now I'm gonna to top this off with some hot chocolate. And thanks to Movie Magic, I've got some fresh hot chocolate right here. Just gonna pour it in about 120 mil of fresh hot chocolate just into there, just to give us a nice kind of, well, flavor to the cocktail, but also not fill up our glass all the way because we are gonna be topping it off with some cream. Now, we don't need a huge amount of cream, so for me, when am I making something like an Irish coffee or something like that, I get the spring from a cocktail shaker, put it into my cocktail, pop in a nice, just a good bit of cream. This is double cream, or if you're in America, this would be called heavy cream, so it does have a nice bit of flavor and does float very well. Just gonna shake it for about 10 seconds to get a light whip on it. So that should have a nice little bit of a whip on it because we don't want to have it kind of overpowered. We don't have it, have it over whipped. We just want to have a nice little bit of cream to float over the top of our hot cocoa. So I'm just going to use a spoon just like that, plain and simple. You don't have to be very kind of precious about it because it is heavy cream. So it is going to kind of float very well because it has a slightly higher fat content. But we're not done just yet because we're going to add a couple of marshmallows up over the top just like that. And that right there is how I make an upgraded boozy hot cocoa. Now this looks great, but the important thing I always say is how it tastes. So let's give it a taste. Cheers. Oh, that's so good. It is so rich. Like I'm always a big fan when you're making cocktails to use good ingredients. If you start with good ingredients, you're gonna get a very good result at the end of the day. The hot chocolate, the whiskey, the little bit of triple sec, I think it all works really, really well together. I mean, the triple sec is there, but it's not like an orange chocolate. It's just a little bit of a hint, a little bit of an accent lifting up the hot chocolate, make, making it a little bit less boring, a little bit less kind of boozy flavored, even though it is, of course, adding a little bit of extra booze. Speaking of the booze, the whiskey, I think, pairs really well. Like whiskey, like Irish whiskey, maybe more specifically than like a bourbon, I think will pair really well because 
Irish whiskey is gonna be a little bit sweeter, a little softer, maybe less of that kind of oak spice you might get with some bourbon. So I think an Irish whiskey would do better in here and especially with that kind of flavor pairing of the Bushmills Black Bush with the Black Bush Bushmills Hot Chocolate. Obviously you might find it hard to get this, but if you use any kind of good hot chocolate, you will be able to make a very, very, very tasty boozy hot cocoa this winter. So if you have your own kind of recipe, let me know down in the comments below because I put out whiskey reviews on Wednesdays. I put out whiskey cocktails on Fridays. So if you want to see more, make sure you scroll down, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. But me, I'm going to enjoy this and I'll see you next time. Sláinte.